Hello, and welcome to the Synthetic Electron 3D YouTube channel. I was working on this auxiliary fan recirculation mod and got distracted. But it was the model itself that distracted me and that testing revealed some interesting things that I thought deserved their own video. Anyway, I'll get the follow-up on the model itself out soon. In the meantime, let's take a look at this. Now, does this sound familiar? We're going to talk about how you can quiet that down on your very next print without any additional hardware. Now I'm preparing a quick release door hinge set as a test part for the printer zero once its G-code has been updated. Before that though, I want to go into a little bit of the background behind this and then you can use this as a reference if you'd also like to make the changes in the future. Several Redditors, including myself, were under the impression that it wasn't possible to disable the case fan during printing. When I started printing ASA for testing, I noticed that the case fan didn't come on at all, so I decided to investigate. Then I happened to notice this little bit of PLA-specific G-code in the machine startup that, although only applicable to the warm-up period, suggests something is going on behind the scenes with PLA. So, what's happening? And how do we work around it so we can rest back control the fans from the slicer? You may be aware that the slicer allows for ramping the fans from layer 1 to N on a configurable basis. Well, that means the slicer is doing something at every layer. I mean, that's kind of obvious if you think about it, but in our case, PLA is being treated special and it's not being exposed in the UI and it's not easily accessible to us. What we can easily do is apply our own change on a per layer basis that conditionally tests that we have reached that full fan speed layer. The ramp is, is complete, but now we wanna check for filament type and set the fan speeds accordingly. And that's what this example does for PLA, TPU, and PETG, and it you may remove that last else end if block if you want other filaments to use the default slicer behavior. Pay no attention to this. I don't know what came over me. Saving it to a test profile so I could revert my settings later. What a waste of time, right? Anyway, if you'd like to get the G code, you can find it at my GitHub repo that's dedicated to the channel. I will probably be dumping future files here as well, so you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Now, let's have a short montage of different materials printing with the G-code applied that we covered previously. The printer thinks it's printing LUPLA here. Now the printer thinks it's printing ASA. Notice the case fan spinning down in the background. This was a low fan pet G configuration, but it's kind of hard to tell the difference with my mic. It should be noted that this particular example will treat every base filament type the same, so PLA from one manufacturer will get the same fan speeds as PLA from another manufacturer. Now, that was my intention, but it may be an issue for some people, and some people may need to do a little bit of tuning. If you decide to give it a try, let me know how it went in the comments. And if you found this useful and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you.